back. Is that us? Yeah, oh, that's us. We're back. Why is it said 34 minutes ago? No, that's the old one. You gotta look at the new one. Oh. New one should be live. And hopefully Paul will join oh, us again. Yes. Yes, we're yes, live. New one's live. Sorry guys, we got cut off earlier. Uh, my mistake. There's like this little button here. It says end stream. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me. No, I'm not gonna tap it because that would be terrible. Because it'll end don't. stream. Stop. <laughs> this is the second it. time it happens. It's so annoying because we try to get like an hour long stream, and every time we get cut off, we have to plan <sighs> a stream again and get the thumbnail queued up and. All the four platforms we have, Amazon Live, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, all lined up for the stream. It's like, ah, uh, sorry guys. So we are back again. Welcome to TechBed. Today in this video, as you already know, we're talking about some hot deals. We're talking about this beautiful TV mount here that you can get for about 20 bucks. Really nice flashlight, tactical one that you can get for about 20 bucks. And a really nice anchor wall adapter here with three USB A's and a USB C port for like $37. But I love how compact and travel friendly this is. This flashlight is very powerful for the price you pay and it's addicting to collect flashlight, trust me on that. And then this mount here. <laughs> Wait, did you say you have addiction about collecting flashlight? I, yes, I, I do. I, I used to and I stopped for a while, but now that I see this light, I kind of want to buy it again because they're so I fun. That that too, Everyone does. Every, a lot of people have flashlight addiction because they're not that they're not that expensive and they're so cool and so bright and they're so useful at the same time right so that's why a lot of people just that one so flashlight. powerful one up to the sky at night and you see that light strip go oh, all the way up that's crazy dude. batman signal you can do a bat batman call with yeah, it that, that you're not supposed to point in people's eyes because you will blind people <laughs> almost as bad as a laser right yeah yeah lasers were a thing too and this this tv mount is really good too uh, because it's a full motion in that you can push it in, pull it out, turn it left and right, and also have the tilt feature and up and down as well. So uh, very fully functional one that supports up to 30, was it 65 inch here? 65. Yeah, 65, right? Let me say 65. 65. Yeah. 65. And... Not 60. 65. Mm, yeah, not 69. 65. 65 inches. Uh, size does matter, especially in this case, because if you put something over 65 inch, it's not, it's it's not rated for it. But you know, the funny thing is, a lot of TVs are lighter and lighter and lighter now. So technically, I bet you could probably put like a 75 inch on it, and it'll probably be fine. But spec wise, they say 65 is what it's limited to. No, I don't think it's about the weight. I mean, if those that you could actually turn yeah. right. So if your TV is too big and the TV mount doesn't stick out that long. Mm. The way you could tilt it is not that you're limited. Of a, much of an angle. Yeah, you're limited on the tilt. You're right. Yes. Because imagine you have a 27 inch compared to 65 inch. Yeah. The 27 inch probably can tilt much more because uh -huh. of the short yeah. the length mm -hmm. of the TV. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That is true. So this one is rated for up to 65 inches and it's only 20 bucks, which is very inexpensive for very the, the quality and the features this mount has. So we're we'll talking about these three deals and we have special, special coupons we're going to talk about that you can't get on Amazon, which you can use on Amazon for really good savings. So let's start with the deals and the coupons. So the first one we're talking about is this TV wall mount. As you see, the price is $35.99, but don't worry yeah. because there's a coupon code. You apply this coupon code when you check out that knocks it down to $21.59. $21 yes, the code is U8F87MEK. I don't know why the code is always so hard to remember or spell. You know, the next time we do a video, I'm going to request a code that says UTECBIA so people can start remembering how to spell UTECBIA instead of saying 8. Oh, sorry, I can't even read it right. It's U8F87MEK. And that's the code that will knock this down to $21.59, guys. Get this one, get it soon, get it quick, because it's an amazing, amazing wall mount for your TV. And it's fully full motion. So you got dual, or heavy duty, dual arm, actuating, full motion, tilt, swivel, 14 inch extension bracket, perfect for LED, LCD, smart TV, curved TV, and multiple different uh, Versa mounts up to 400 millimeter. Mm. Yeah. 
I like the dual arm. It feels more secure. Mm-hmm. When I see only the one like launching the TV, I'm just kind of skeptical. But like, it's a good job. It's a good job. <laughs> Yeah, the dual arm gives you extra flexibility, especially if you have a 65 inch TV at this end. Just think about the moment, the cantilever force, right? There's a, there's a torque that hinders on um, this point right here because you have this lever arm that just pushes down on it. So the dual yeah, arm. Have you ever done a single arm that when you try to push the TV and it just keeps shaking yes. while you're pushing uh, it? Yes, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is much more sturdy. So definitely worth. You know, the normal price is good too. Normal price is $36, which is pretty cheap. But again, coupon code exclusive of this video. Enter this code here to get for $21.59. That's a really good code. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Good deal. Yes. And that's why we did this. That's why we're making this video because we have a special code that you guys can apply to get it for $21.59. Mm -hmm. We'll leave that code on the screen so that that way people can access it while we check a look at some of these pictures on the products. Uh, the code might be getting in the way. Let me see if I can make the code smaller so it won't get in the way. We should, we should find a way to put the code somewhere like, uh, uh, maybe on Pixel Savage? Can Just right there. Yeah. Just put it right there, it's fine. Yeah, so that's the code right there. Cool. Mm -hmm. So we got the all metal build. You even <coughs> got some nice uh, Velcro here to help tie your wire does it even come with a USB or HDMI cable? Maybe. Does it come with a, <coughs> Sorry. a leveler? I'm, not, I'm wondering. I'm not sure. But nonetheless. I mean, they put it there, they'll probably give it to you, right? Yeah. Actually, I'm curious. Does it include it? Now, now I want to know. Easiest setup. Oh, in the box, you get a 6 feet HDMI cable, 3 cable ties, and a 3 axis magnetic bubble level, and corresponding hardware. Wow. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it even comes with the HDMI cable. Dude, for the price of $21.59. I know, I think that's totally worth with it. With the just HDMI the cable, cable. Oh. How much is the HDMI cable right now? Around like 10 bucks? Well, it depends. Maybe at least. Well, if you buy an aftermarket like this one, probably like $6. Still. Yeah, yeah. Six feet. It's, good. It's, a, it, it's a free. It's a freebie. It's a freebie. It's a good, it's a good package. Yeah. yeah. So if you don't have a wall mount for your TV at this is something you might want to look into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it's 32 inches to 16 inch TV, mm -hmm. up to 88, 88 pounds. pounds. Yeah. Almost as heavy as I am. Actually, no. Heavier. I'll take that back. <laughs> You're almost as heavy as you. You're probably uh, twice as heavy as that. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so don't hang on to this mount because it won't support you. But it'll support your baby. I can hang half of myself up there. Yeah. Let's not talk about hanging yourself. It's not a good sign. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know what you're talking about. But yeah, don't you just love the stock footage on this one? This is so obviously screwed onto this beautiful wall, it's right? So professional, dude. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's not even centered. Who who installs a TV that's not centered? Um. Yeah, it's Photoshop. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want to call them out. <laughs> well, for Whatever. it's fine. I mean, you're paying $21.59 with this deal to get an incredible value. Mm -hmm. so, you can move the TV up and down because it has these uh, brackets, flexibility. And then you can install, the, um, you can change the bracket orientation distance for the dis different. Wider. Yeah, for the distance versus amount. It fits all these sizes. So make sure your TV is Versa mountable, which I think 99% of TVs are yeah. these days. Uh, it's only monitors, like some monitors are, might not be, but if you're getting a 32 inch monitor, it's probably gonna be Versa mountable too. Look at all these flexible orientation, right? So this is a swivel. That's, this is the nice thing about the dual, dual arm, right? Because when you swivel this way, this arm gets collapsed, but this arm is fully extended. It gives you 60 degree rope. Uh, That's degree. without the TV on it. Oh yeah, you're right, without the TV. Because if you have a TV and you have a wall here, it can't go that far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if you have a 32 inch TV, you'll be fine. Because I think that can go that far. I don't know. But the, the stand is capable of uh also you have this tilt too you know like when you install it and it's kind of a little bit off because you're not so perfect well you can swivel a little bit to adjust for your sloppy installation 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah, three degree tilt. And then you, it also comes with a magnetic bubble level. So you technically shouldn't have an excuse to have any tilt. I prefer not to have tilt in my installation, but whatever. Um, and then this thing can go. You know in. what? One of those days when I'm able to come over your house, I'm going to ship all your stuff, make it not straight, and what? just mess with no. it. No! <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. Either it's so messy, like in my room right now, my studio's room is like a mess, or it's perfectly, perfectly organized and clean and to a T. It's, it's weird. I'm like one of those all or nothing. But if I have a mount like this, I would definitely tuck in all the wires really neat, install it precisely, and get a stud finder too, because you'll have a hard time finding studs in your wall. So a good stud finder. I used finder. to be a professionalist too. But once you start doing a couple of projects at the same time yeah. and have a baby, you will give up something. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Well, with a stud finder, you can be more perfect at trying to find where the stud is because when you're trying to mount a TV mount for a TV that's up to 65 inches or 88 pounds at that distance away from the wall, you want to make sure that you install the mount very well. You want to install it definitely into deep studs and with really big screws too. So you want to find, <laughs> you want to make sure you find the right tool to help you find the stud. And this is a good one here. This one can help you find studs and locate the difference between AC wires, um, pipes, and other. I saw they have a stud finder that actually have a really big screen and show how wide a stud is. That'd be nice. Let's look for that one. This, I'm curious now that you you mentioned that. So do we have uh, LCD stud finder? No way! This one, this one has an LCD. Is it? But this one doesn't seem like it's like an LCD of the image. It looks like just an LCD display of what. Oh wow! Let me see. Let me see. Is this a real picture or just like always a stock footage? Of course, it's not a real picture. It's not X-ray camera. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, yeah. It's just showing you there's a wood there. Wire and stuff. Then what's, what's the point of having these? Because it's still... There's a laser one, too. No, this one can see. Wait, can it see? I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. Does this product actually see through the wall? It, it, it can't, right? But how come it knows the difference? Oh, if it's wood, it'll show a picture of wood. And if it's like oh, metal, yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. show a picture of metal. Okay, I'm gonna add this to our list too because this is a cool product. It's more visual. Yeah, more visual. Let me make sure to not click the end stream button as I add this to our carousel. Don't, I know, I don't know. Don't you do it. I know, that would suck if we end the stream again. But we're doing good. We're alive for 13 minutes. Back to where we were earlier. Alright, I added we're the product. Away. And we're going to just return to the stream. And we're going to click on this product. There you go. So this is not a, street, a cheap stud finder. In fact, this one is almost two and a half times more expensive than the TV mounts. But if you want something that will but it's more fun. last you forever. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So for, for ladies, if you want to find a stud, this is you need to buy Wrong this. Wrong kind of stud, my friend. Wrong oh. kind of stud. If she buys this, she might run into someone like you. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, plenty, but let's not go there. <laughs> All right, and you're taken already. That's number one reason that's wrong with you is you're taken. In a good old day, you can have multiple wife. Just saying. Uh, no. Yes, maybe so, but we're not talking about that now because it's, it's, it's just wrong now. <laughs> it should, it's actually always wrong, but it was, it was passable in the past, right? So this thing can... Can see what's on my cup? Oh, is that a Stormtrooper? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We need, we need a cup for Pizza Stabbers and Utechia. So going back to this okay. mount. Don't forget the coupon code that we have on the screen, the U8 F8 M-E-K. Yes. For the TV mount, mm -hmm. we'll lower all the way to $21.59. Yes. Ooh. We just 
amazing prize for a TV mount that can handle what up to 65 inches TV mm -hmm. and 88 pounds. Dude, this is so wrong. Like here it says up to 60 inch, but then here it says up to 65. So you see, technically, it could probably fit even more. They're just oh yeah. I think the 88 pounds. They never go all the way to the limit because yeah. they want to save some buffing room there. Yeah. Just in case you have like a really old TV that's really. I bet heavy. you put an 80 inch up there, they, it still works. It probably will, but I I would I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. <laughs> But anyway, let's check out some of the specs here. Oh, they actually have a product video. I'm curious to see their product video. Let's see. I bet you it's a video for the man or TV to move around. Let's see. Two minutes. That's what it is. This video is for reference only. Oh, it comes to all those parts. And that's how you find this she, This person draws really fast. Oh, look, it comes with a template. So it helps you find all the screws. Oh, that's cool. And then you can that's level cool. the template. So that your screw holes are aligned. Oh, that's really smart. All right, now that is cool. Yeah, this helps you install it with much ease. Because in the old days, you uh -huh. would actually have to put the actual mount on top and it's big and heavy and it slides around, right? Look at that mount. Wait, what kind of tool is that? That's a, um, a ratchet. Ratchet. You can install it on different walls. Yep. Mounting screws and there's the ratchet again. Huh. These are the different spacers because some TVs have this, see that bulge back there? You want to make sure that you have the right spacer so you can get across this bulge here. Mm. Mm -hmm. There you go. The base of the mount is there. Oh, it's cool that you can always lift off the TV if you need to because it doesn't, you don't need to take off the mount. They're all, yeah. they're all like that. Oh, are they all like that now? All like that. Okay. Well, majority of them so see, all like that. This, this one does the vertical mount and then you can adjust the tilt. And there's a level bolt. See, the leveling bolt allows you to tilt it for three inches of slack in case you kind of mess up. Oh. Yeah. Because you know, like if you install it and it's not perfect, then you can kind of fix your mistake. I like that. I do. So for the TV stand, this cheap, yeah. it actually has everything. It has a lot of features. Yeah. And then see, you can send it in and out, and then left and right, and then you can also <laughs> turn it. Nice. Yeah. How big is that TV? It's probably that there is a 50 going, inch. Like 40, 50. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of like a ghetto way to handle cable, but that's okay too. <laughs> well, they're free. You get three of them. I would personally get some zip ties uh, or what you would call tie wraps. And I think Amazon sells them uh, zip ties. Let's see if you can buy like an accessory pack that comes to like maybe 12 inches are good. This one has a lot of 8 inches. I like variety because that way you can use them for other things. Four inches is always too short in my opinion for a lot of things. But maybe eight inches is good. Oh, this is a good variety pack. Boom! Add this to cart. Yeah. Mm. This is a nice nice uh, set of zip ties you guys can buy. Can we... Can we... Oh, I like Velcro better than zip ties. You like Velcro? Okay. Because I know I can... I'll go it. Well, zip tie can we really unzip it? It's not a zipper. Yeah, zip Velcro zip tie. You actually have to cut it. Um, but you're right. You can get Velcro, and they have wire Velcro too. See? Yeah, Velcro uh, strips. So you buy something like this. Welcome strips wires. Like this, like this, or I mean this, or a hundred. Yeah, the, the cloud one, the 60 piece one. Those are good. This is cheap. You get color. I know, right? You only tie a cable together, you don't draw. You need to be high quality, you need to be brand name. No, actually, I'm just joking. No, I like the color code. It. Yeah, color code so is you nice. Know what... I like this. You get 60 pieces, man. So like if you buy this, for five bucks. I mean, yeah, this is a good deal. On. Good deal. So you guys can get some reusable zip tie cable management. No Velcro cable management. Yes, you definitely can. 
for five bucks. And you get the step finder. Do, do we want to tell them that they need that uh, wrench too? Yeah, why not? Ratchet. <coughs> Ratchet. I mean, like myself, I'm not a handyman, so sometimes when I have to install something, I have to buy the tools to do it. Yeah, so if you if you have a ratchet, you can install it a little bit faster, like one of these ratchets here. Let me see if I can find a good deal for them. Uh, this one is twenty one dollars. It's a Work Pro. It's not really the brand. I find the you don't want to buy those. Try to find one that like one. the one size fits all. One. Oh no, no, really? You like those one size fits all? Not everybody like have that much tool in their house. Okay, fine. Well. You can always get this kit here, this universal socket that does it one size fit all. But I never liked them because they, they never they never work perfectly well for me. I just hate the fact that you have to keep finding the one that fits. <laughs> so. I, I don't know. I, I, I'd rather have these because they're classic and then I know that they, they, they don't strip the bolts as easy because they're, they're, the size is exactly right. Yeah, on. that's true. Right. I give you that. I have two set at home. I don't know why. But the one they used earlier is not nothing like this. Yeah, it is. The one they use is like this. You just don't see. Well, you don't know the head that you use. Cause you only see the the ratchet side. You don't see the head. Not true. <laughs> but we'll add this kit here. This kit is not the top of the line one, but it's also only twenty three dollars. So it's a nice kit to have in the house if you don't hey, have get the one that you know how um you can angle it you know what i'm talking about yes yeah, those are expensive i don't think you want a ratchet that also angles maybe as an attachment let me find something a little bit better than that because i feel i feel like that's too too low quality i would recommend dewalt yes and this is half price off this is actually oh, that's, this that's is a sweet good. deal. If you want really high quality tools and you don't have ratchet ratchet set, you'll love this one. This will help you install your TV mounts with ease, and you'll have tools forever. It's funny because the the TV mount is what twenty bucks, twenty twenty two dollars, less than twenty two dollars. But we're recommending all these components here that cost like <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> it's kind of funny, isn't it? Um, they have an old saying about like I forgot what the old saying is, but that what it means it's you buy one thing you actually spend more money. Yeah. By saving money. Yeah, but then you'll have <laughs> tools. If you're a new homeowner, it's your first TV. This this tool is perfect for working on the car when you're assembling your fitness. You know what? Now that they ever stay home, they have have to do a lot of home improvement. Yeah. Might as well, mm -hmm. you know. It's a good deal. Pieces. Half price. You know I I. I'm always bothered by the, when they say like 108 pieces because you think, wow, that's a lot of pieces. But then they also count all these hex keys as like, there's 20 pieces there and there's like another 20 pieces over here. You see, even this, this little tiny one, there's five there and then there's seven mm -hmm. here. So that's about like 15 actually. And there's another 15 tools here. And then inside here, maybe there's some smaller screwdriver heads. Each of those little screwdriver head bits, that's a piece too. So, you know what they call? That's called marketing. Yeah. Yep. This is your 108 pieces. Yeah, all these screwdriver heads, they are all one piece, one piece, one piece, one piece. Hmm. Ooh, does this one have a flexible angle? No, you don't have the flexible angle because these are straight mm -hmm. pieces. No. But you got um, half inch drive and three, three, three eighths inch drive. So, yeah, good variety. And you got a solid screwdriver with different bits. Dude, this kit will be perfect for like any new homeowner. To have very very complete kit all right let's get on with the second product we're talking about here and that is a flashlight this is the wow tech flashlight and we got a coupon for you guys with this too for this flashlight if you enter the code 22 oh sorry 22 or oh, 22 dollars and 49 cents but the code let me make it big here so it's 25 259 yt WBW. I'll say 259 Y T W B W. Sure. <laughs> Any way you want to read the code, I don't care. Just type the code in. <laughs> that would save you another eight bucks from this. Um, this is normally priced $36 for this flashlight. 
but with the code you get it for twenty two dollars and forty nine cents, which is a great yep. deal for a very high quality flashlight that has tons of reviews. Look at the battery, thirty four hundred. That's a big. That's a big juicy uh, size <laughs> that's battery. A big, that's a very big. Is it battery. rechargeable? Yes. Come on, man. <laughs> Flashlight. I know. How can it be not? What kind of question is that? I just, I just want to make sure, right? I just want to make sure. So no, no, no. You're gonna pay twenty dollars for one time use. Of that <laughs> flashlight. Oh, really? Or the battery lasts a very long time. Hey, how come there's there's only one picture? Of the product. <laughs> it is, but you have different colors. Uh, right. I don't know. No. There are different pictures, but slightly move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what you what you paying for here is the the price and the really bright flashlight that has a good build. But the marketing on this, I would I would do better if I was marketing this product here. Like I mean, what the heck, guys? Like what does? Are these really different colors? No, they're the same. They just moved the battery. Wait, wait, hold on. There's some down there. Look, look. Oh. Click the image to the opening and view. How come when I click on this image, it doesn't have other features? And why is this one more expensive? Okay, so this one, this one has 1150 lumens, right? Let's look at the CW one. Oh, half as bright. Oh. So see, this one is already $20, but you can get this one, which is twice as bright, but if you use the coupon code, you can get it for $22. That's well, why there's a they're, they're, the design is probably the yeah. same, so we can take a look at the, the pictures. Uh, yeah, pictures. Good point. Yes, I love how it has a clip here, and it's it's really industrial grade. These these are uh, null grip. It just gets a nice fancy technical military mm -hmm. SWAT team look feel to it, right? So industrial looking. Oh, dude, you now. you can recharge the battery like literally. You plug in the USB cable okay, to that, recharge the battery. That's sweet. That is sweet. I was like thinking, what kind of charger do I need for this? Like, oh no. <laughs> you charge the freaking battery directly. What? Okay, now, me like <laughs> you like you. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yes, it's pretty awesome. Fully charged. There's an indicator. Where? Where? Oh, wow, that's a really advanced battery. There's an indicator here. light here. Tiny little light. Oh, just buy this for the battery. Yeah. Seriously. And I would just buy charging the light battery. and it's fully charged. What? And then once it's charged, you can pop the battery back in here. Rechargeable battery. And then these mm. are all the pieces reflector, <coughs> the Creed LED, premium hard anodized aircraft grade aluminum here. Toughen ultra clear glass with anti reflective coating. Nice. Great for camping, hiking, putting a bike. Definitely, this is Photoshop because it's never going to be that bright. <laughs> but yeah. But that, that looks believable. No, it's not. But it is bright. Like this beam here is what makes it not believable. Why would you make this beam like this? Anyway, it looks cool. And it's, I mean, if you just rate it for the lumens, when you buy this expensive top of the line one for $22.49 with the coupon double. code, yeah, you get more than double the lumens. Definitely gonna get that one. Well, you always have a couple of things at home right now because, well, for us, we live in California. That's one of the fear we have is earthquake. Yeah. And so we need water, yep. we need canned food. And we need flashlight. Mm -hmm. We need radio. So those are things that I don't know about you, David, but I have a package, like, you know, out there that I can just pick up, and run and be safe. Mm -hmm. Or if worst case, worst something could collapse down and I'm not dying, I have something that I can survive. Yep. Flashlight yeah. is one of those things you can find your way. Yeah. And also. Yeah. Plus, it's it's scary to be uh, at night and alone and no power. I got to have my flashlight. Double fo double down for you on yeah, that one. <laughs> I, have my no. I don't like the dark, man. Look at this. It's so cool. Here's a there's a micro USB charger port the right on USB, the battery. I know. That's so Just cool. Just the battery itself looks so. That's yeah. cool. I mean, okay, 
there's pros and cons. I, I do like that you can charge the battery by itself, but it is a con because then now you have to take out the battery to charge it each time, right? But the mm -hmm. pro is that it keeps the, the flashlight fully w weatherproof, right? It's water resistant, IPX7. So there's no like charging <laughs> port to worry about. And it's not and. permanently attached to the flashlight. So you can always replace the battery if it goes bad. You know, you, 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 okay. you, you're, the life of the flashlight is not restricted by the life of the battery. Right? When the battery, if the battery ever goes bad or dies, you can always replace the battery. It's not True. always attached to the light. So that's the pro and con. That's a pass. Mm -hmm. That's a pass. Yes. Tail switch. What's a tail switch? Oh, you have a. a uh, here's how you turn it on and off. Then what's this button do? SOS, maybe? Ah, uh, okay. Maybe. I'm not sure. You're going to read the manual for that. There's a Crete LED, 1150 lumens. Let's see if they tell us what the button does. Here, there's a side switch. Stainless steel side switch. So there's two ways switch. to turn it on. Interesting. Oh, here's the the A1S versus the A1. See, the A1S is the, um, the more powerful one. The one with the coupon code mm -hmm. that works with. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. You're right, there's an SOS mode. So I guess this, these are the different modes that you can change with the side switch. You got intelligent, low, medium, high, turbo, strobe, SOS, light modes. Makes the A1S the practical tactical flashlight for hunting, camping, fishing, indoor, and outdoor activities. <clears throat> yeah. When I back in my snowboarding day, I have all that gears mm -hmm. in me. Um, definitely have a very useful um, survival flashlight that has a really bright wet SOS signal that you know if I stuck in a mountain yep. and a helicopter comes in they, they could see me from a oh, really far away. That's kind of scary if you ever like snowboard and you get stuck in a mountain and it's dark and no one knows where you are and you have no cell phone reception or you don't have a phone with you. And it's cold. It's cold and wet. And then there's wildlife and you can die. Actually you don't have wildlife. Have you ever been? <laughs> it's too cold to have wildlife. No, why not? They're wolves. I'm not in a, I'm not in Alaska. I'm in Canada, oh. Black Calm, at a ski resort, right? Yes. But there's still, still. wildlife. There's still wildlife. I don't like know. Squirrels. <laughs> girls. Tame them, man. You can tame them. Okay. I eat them. I'm too hungry. I can hunt them down and just eat them. Raw. Wait, what? That's freaky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta survive, man. You gotta survive. All right, all right, all right. So, wow, tack, a light hand, a lighting hand of your life. What? A lighting that hand like, of <laughs> your life? What? The grandma doesn't seem right. <laughs> what is a lighting hand of your life? I don't know. This confused me, but it's a good light. It's just the grammar. Bye bye. It's super bright. It's long lasting. It's dependable and waterproof. Okay, there. that makes sense. That's all you need to know. And it, oh, I get it. It's the hand of your life. It's like the extension of your life. No, never mind. I, I can't. I can't make no. anything. <laughs> don't, don't don't try to explain that. <laughs> don't don't go there. I don't know. Leave it. Leave it be. Yep. So you got the charge rechargeable battery. Ooh, reverse polarity protection, just in case you saw the battery the wrong way, it's not going to screw up your light. Aircraft grade, Ooh. aluminum body, toughened ultra clear glass lens with anti-reflective coating. You have a low power Good. indicator when, the, when low voltage, the light will blink twice periodically so you know that you're running low in voltage. Because with LED lights, you lose power, but you don't lose brightness until like near the end. Then it's like poof, it just shuts off. Remember, like mm -hmm. so, you, it's good to know that you're kind of running a low power. So it gives you an indicator versus like the old incandescent bulbs that we grew up with. You know, when you're running low on battery, you see it starts to dim down, so you have a warning. These lights, if they don't blink twice, you won't know when you're low on battery until it just turns off. Then you're kind of screwed it's because it's digital, right? Either you have enough juice to light it or you don't. I look at the last one though. When the light's on, long press to quickly direct access to shoot mode. Yeah. So, press and hold 
and then it will turn into stroke mode. What is stroke mode? Stroke mode is probably the SOS. Oh. So that's the easy cool. way to get to the SOS. It's the blinking one, yeah. right? Mm hmm yeah, the A1S, which is the one that, that this coupon code works for, takes it down to $22.49. Is This one has a 3400 milliamp battery and has 1150 lumens of power. Kid you not, I really like the batteries. Yeah. The battery is good. The battery is cool. You can charge it with your micro USB cable. And it's waterproof up to one meter underwater. You got the six lighting modes. These are, I guess these are all the strobe modes. Or maybe, oh no. So when you long press the on button, it just goes through the strobe mode. But these other modes, you have to go through the normal switching. So you got low, medium, okay. high power. Oh, thermal. so that side button is the switch. Mm. Switch different mode. To turn it on is the one in the back. Ah, well you have to long, uh, and then to ask the strobe, you long press. And mm -hmm. Otherwise you click to cycle through them. Okay. Got it, that makes sense. Now we know. Super bright, high lumen, rechargeable flashlight. And waterproof. Now we know. Yes. We understand the product that we are so excited about. Just because we got the deal, now we know. Hey, there's a stupid question. Where do you plug the charger cord? I cannot seem to find the port on the light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the charger port is on the battery. Connect the charging cable to the battery and power adapter not included for charging so you need yeah, a power adapter but you know nowadays I mean, they're everywhere when's the last time you see a flashlight has a charge <laughs> yeah let's see what other answers are not stupid had the same question when i was looking at it it's actually on the battery itself and not on the outside of the flashlight it's on the battery very small port near the side of the end of the battery yeah it's mm -hmm. that's very unique yeah See, cool. that got, got people. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Customer. Oh, wow. This one's really used and it's tough. Well used. Wow. It's almost three years old and still going strong. I've used this light at my EDC. I don't know what that stands for. Since new and it's never let me down. I used it as a hammer. Dropped it in the pool, <laughs> lost it by yard for two months, and it still runs, and still uses the original WowTac battery. Wow! <laughs> I bought another one for my bug out bag and two more batteries. The only one thing I've done is flip the pocket clip on the top. So if it comes, so if it comes on in my pocket, I can see it. Oh, so it's flipped around. Right, because if it's pointing down in your pocket, you don't know it's on. He flips it so that when he puts it in his pocket, it's pointing up. So he'll know when the light's on. You know what, dude? No, it's so bright that you say, why is my pocket so bright? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But unless you have like jeans, really thick jeans. Yeah. Wow. But you can still see it. You should be able to see it. Bought it, used it, liked it, and I'm including it in my collection. Simple. Nice. 51 thumbs up on that review. Excellent light, tail switch is capable of monetary on and off use. Solid light, great value, 8 out of 10, but you gave it 5 out of 5. What? Man, uh, don't, don't even. There, there's no wheels, no standard on this so called stars or numbers. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Lots of good reviews. I love the berries. I love the berries because, you know, I hate it. One thing is that. Um, most of the time, either you need a separate chargers on those special batteries, mm -hmm. and or you need to replace it. But this one's easy. Yeah, I mean, just put a USB and charge. Yep. Love it. Yeah, bought it, loved it, used it, like it, and I'm including it in my collection. Because I have another special flash that has those like batteries, but not like mm -hmm. this. I need a special charger. My charger is kind of broken, ah, so I can't recharge them anymore. Yeah. I hate to buy another one. So this is perfect. Yeah, there's a micro USB cable. Everyone has micro USB cable and includes it too. So, mm -hmm. yep, good to go. Good to go for sure. All right, awesome. last product we're talking about. This one doesn't have a coupon code, but it's a good deal all in itself. It's $20, oh, not $20. How much off is it? Uh, it's $16 off, which is respectable. Mm -hmm. Because Anchor is a good brand 
Angus is a good brand. For all these devices and the quality of this one. You can see it has nice texture on top here. You have 45 mm -hmm. watt of USB-C output. So this is great for even fast track, fast charging some of the newer Samsung phones. Or mm -hmm. even like an iPad or even a, a laptop at a slow rate. You can charge a laptop if you, if you absolutely need to. Most laptop needs about 90 watt for full power. But this is not bad. Mm -hmm. it takes twice as long, but if you're traveling, and you don't need it that much, this is great. <coughs> you got four, three, four ports total, you got three USB-A's and one USB-C port. Look how thin it is. It's almost slightly thicker than a normal Oreo. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have? What? I want some. <laughs> what? I want some. I want Oreo. Do you eat Oreo with milk? I love Oreo with milk. I eat Oreo, eat anything. Uh, it works. What, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not searching for Oreo, are you? I want to buy some Oreos. <laughs> I want to buy some Oreos. Oh, there's. Oh, have you tried a double stuff one? No, that's too much. Yeah, I didn't. It's I don't. Stuffing. These are crazy, though. These are awesome. You have to get these. Look, the flavors. Okay. Wait, what? What? Are yeah. Because they don't make them in America. So you have a strawberry flavor. Oh, I like the strawberry yeah. ones. I like that. This is like waffle covered one. That's not even Oreo. That's a thin one. That's a thin one. Look at that. They have a thin one. A thin one? Yeah. Super thin. Then another super thin. White chocolate. And red velvet. Yeah, red velvet cake. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually. No, I'm actually craving the normal Oreos. Because those, those flavors are okay. But I think the classic Oreo is where it's at. It's in, a booty pack. You love it. Not that much. This is a good pack. <laughs> this one's a good pack. I, I just stole this from my knees the other day. This one that I had lunch pack. It's like, can I have one? Okay, they gave it to me. The whole thing? <laughs> Wait. In the lunch pack? So. Yeah. Did she have any left? Or she gave you all of she had? Of course they have a whole box. Oh, okay, okay. I just took one little pack. Ah, okay. Next time, take take two. I'm not one of those who take candies from a baby. So yeah, you, no, not you me. You did. That's not the same. It's not the same. I asked for Oh, well, hey. Let me have one. Just take a screenshot of the stars. Boop. I Boop. did. Oh, cool. Hey, I wonder if um how we get featured in the product. Do we get featured in this product? No, I think Oreos. Of course not. We're you know what it is? Oreo, I think I think we're featured on the first four products. Let's check this out. So if we go to the first product, are we featured on this product? You mean the TV map? Yeah. How come we're not? Sometimes we are. Sometimes we're not. I'm always... It could be from the vendors if they have those features, you know, Allowable? when they open the shop. Mm. Yeah. How about this? How about the wow technical light? I don't think so. We're here, see? Oh, we're here. Yeah. So, I got to find out like why some products we are featured and some products we're not. It doesn't make sense. Well, let's talk to Amazon about it. Yeah. They probably answer for you. But we didn't, we're not in the Oreo. But we're not here for the <laughs> Oreo. We're here for this. No, let's just move on. We're... Forget about Oreo. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> We're here for. Wait, is that an Oreo next to this charger? Oh, I'm craving Oreo. Okay, we're here for this thin wall charger by Anchor. 0.07 inch thin. Yes. Ultra thin design. You got the USB. Like an Oreo. I don't know why they use Oreo as a comparison. It though. makes me hungry. It made me look up Oreo. Dang it. But this one, oh yeah, you can charge your MacBook Pro with it too. It just takes two and a half hours. That's not bad. What? I would personally not charge my MacBook Pro because MacBook Pro, you need 96 watts or yeah, 96 watts for the newest one to have like, if you are heavily using your MacBook like to do video editing or some rendering or some development work, or even like 4K YouTube, especially if you're gaming on your MacBook, 
then you are gonna start to lose power even while you're plugged in because this doesn't right, provide gotta, enough power. Uh, what kind of game can you play with your MacBook Pro? Minecraft? I mean, my, what's that game? Minesweeper. Actually, you oh. can't even play Minesweeper because it doesn't come with it. Okay, David, you gotta be nice. I don't know how that happened. We have six, I mean, 36 people viewing right now. Woo! Thank you everyone for watching. We're talking about USB-C charging device right here, Anchor One. This one has a special price on it, $37.99. It's, there's no coupon and code to worry about. Just buy it right off. Anchor, really good. Best behavior, okay? Jeez. I am. I'm excited about this product. So that's why- Don't wear my reputation, people, okay? This is Derek. I don't know him that well. What? We do videos together every night, man. <laughs> You probably spend more time with me during this part of the day than your wife. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> yes, we're night partners. So you, you better know me. Anyway, that might be taken the wrong way. So let's not go there. Yo, yeah, we, got, we got a streamer on YouTube saying, Yo, thanks for watching. Yo. Yeah, yo. I, I can't put down a short name though. Uh, it's... <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yo. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you <laughs> like the video. Let us know if you have any questions on some of the products we're talking about. Oh, Thor just oh, gave us a cool. big happy dog in a box, Amazon style. Thank you for that. Love the picture. Oh, thank Love you the for the dog. I mean, I would rather have the, the hammer, but you know, dog's good too. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Cool, cool, cool. And then, so, this thing can charge your MacBook too. But like Jeremy is saying, like, um, if you're playing a Wait, game, hold on, the Netflix, iPhone 11 Pro, yeah. uh, 30 minutes, only 50%. That doesn't make sense, right? I would say five minutes for like 50%, isn't it? Well, um, it's the charging speed, right? Because the iPhone Pro, how long does it take to charge the iPhone 11 Pro? Uh, how long to charge iPhone 11 Pro? I'm wondering now. Yeah, it charges two hours and 19 minutes. So 50% of that should take one hour. So. Okay, so AZ Summers has a message yeah. asking, is this new on Amazon? This one is. No, I mean, I think, I think um, he, she means by um, this Amazon Live thing, right? Right? Am I right? Am I asking that right? Is this new on Amazon? Well, is AZ customer? I don't understand your question. Are you asking, is this a new product that's been on Amazon? We can always check that. Oh, uh, this for, new platform. Ah. Uh, I, I think he, yeah. Well, the new, this is, uh, Amazon Live is a new platform. Uh, mm -hmm. You might be clicking on us because of our feature video, but uh, this product, this product came onto market pretty recently. Let's see here. First date available, October 20th. 19, 20, 2019, so not too long Kinda ago. Kind of new. It's pretty new. Kind of new. Yeah, pretty new. And I don't always want to buy the newest product anyway. I want to see some reviews, and that's why we recommend this product, because I saw the reviews, and I thought, wow, this has a lot of good reviews. Plus, you're saving $16, which is 30% off the normal price. That's really good. Mm -hmm. So this one, like we said, uh, it might be a little bit misleading, because based on Google, it says it takes one hour to get to 50% capacity. So this might have some kind of speed up charging somehow. Oh, yeah. that's even better. Because yeah. I never use, you know, I'm not an Apple fan, so I don't use iPhone. I don't know how that charges. Yeah. But for my Samsung, I only have to pack it in five minutes, I got 50% and above. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. I read it wrong. So the iPhone 11 Pro comes with a standard and 18 watt PD charger. So you are using that fi the faster charging speed. So with the faster charging speed, you can charge it to 50% roughly in half an hour. So that's right. You can get to 50% in half an hour, right? How come my charge is so fast? You, have a, you probably have a smaller capacity in your battery. Don't belittle me. I'm just saying your battery is little. <laughs> I'm not belittling you. I'm just saying your battery is little. So again, this is, I, I don't like the marketing. I mean, I love the product, but I don't like this picture because this picture is misleading. 
This feature will probably make you think, okay, if I buy this, I can charge my MacBook and my iPhone 11 Pro at the same time. Technically, not at this speed. Because remember, you only have one USB-C port. That's the only one that delivers a 45 watt max output. The other ones are USB-A's, and they're probably not gonna give you that much juice. The USB-A ones have a combined 20 watt output. Hmm. So it's not a lot of power. And I think, uh, how many watt does this one take? 18 watt, okay, so. Well, that'll work. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can actually charge both technically. But if you charge, if you have more than two USB A's, then you have to share that twenty volt, twenty watt with other <laughs> devices. So this is just still my still point misleading, is right? It's a little bit misleading, but you have to understand. See, I told you not to mess around with the Oreo. <laughs> Look at what people are saying now. Oreos are part of the tech deals, not really. But because this thing, it's a thing. <laughs> This thing is about 0.7 inch thick, right? It's the size of an Oreo, and I, I realized... No, it's not. It's not the size of Oreo. It's I don't know why they reference, use right? They have an Oreo. So then I had a mad craving for Oreo, so I'm like, huh, I, I, I want to buy this charger, and I want to get some Oreos too, so I went over to check out the hey, Oreos. How about the Oreo is not white? Filled? It is white filling. Yeah. It's, it looks kind of brownish. It's normal. Oh, it's probably yeah. infection. Never mind. But anyway, you know what? Stop talking about Oreo. Go back. <laughs> but we had to answer the question, so that's why we talked. We have Oreo in the deal, so it's not part of the tech deal. But who doesn't like Oreos? And you know, all tech gamers, tech users. It's. I'm pretty Jeremy probably has a pack of Oreos next to his desk. T exactly. <laughs> Everyone loves Oreo. And that's why it's part of a tech deal. <laughs> so th what does this come with, right? You got the, uh, the charger, wall, wall mounted charger, the cable that connects mm -hmm. to the wall. You got your adhesive stick. If you plan on using this forever in one location, you can stick that to like, under your desk. And that's kind of cool. You get the mm. manual and then the happy, the happy card. Happy? Yeah. What's, what's happy with the question mark? Because if you're not happy, you happy, they will take care of you. Customer service is really good with Anchor. Like take care of me yeah they'll take care of you outside <laughs> buddy i'll take care of you no they'll, they'll um they'll send you another one or refund your money if you have problems but makes you not happy anchor's good i thought that was amazon's job mm, yes but anchor doesn't want to get oh i like how they put it under the table yeah. I need to well, well, actually i don't have under well, the that's table. why my that's why they give you the adhesive that. pad right so if you want to use this adhesive strip pop yeah you can pop it right underneath the table Cool. Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah, I, I like it underneath the I table. Like it keeps everything very clean and organized. Clean. Yes. Yeah. So the 3.0 Power IQ is universally compatible for all these laptops, tablets, phones, and much more. And then of course you got 65 watt of simultaneously charging. Remember, the 45 watt is reserved for the USB-C, and then the other three USB-A's are sharing a 20 watt pool of charge power. I feel like it's built for Apple. Mm, it's not built for Apple, but nobody care about me. No, I mean, Apple has an appeal, right? If you make a product that has Apple device, it just feels more premium. But of course, you can use this with a Samsung Galaxy tablet or a Samsung S10 Plus or a Kindle, because Kindle is not an Apple product. And you can use this with any laptop that has a USB-C charging port. There you go. Happy? All right. Yeah. Fine. And it uses the gang. I don't know how to pronounce it. G-N-G. -G. The what? It's the gallium Gun. nitride technology. Uh, is that my way? Say that one more time. Galli ga gallium nitride. <laughs> Did I say it wrong the first time? Gallium. <laughs> I don't know. Gallium nitride. So gallium nitride. It, I think that sounds yeah, better. Because what it does is it helps improve the heat dissipation it has a smaller size and increased efficiency. You know, like when USB-C charger first came out, they used to be thick just for like a laptop charger. And mm -hmm. now with the gallium nitride technology, they get to be more compact and they don't get hot. So you can put them in smaller enclosure. So I love that you're using nice. this new technology to make a charger that's good enough to charge your MacBook Pro and multiple USB-C device at the same time. But just keep in mind that 
uh, doesn't charge it at the max rate that most laptops are rated for because most laptops are expecting at least 65 watt of juice. Some of the more powerful laptops like the MacBook Pro expect around 86, even 90 watt of power. And like the Dell laptops, they can take up to like 130 watts. So just mm. keep that in mind. But this is a great travel charger. And keep that in my mind already. Yeah. And uh, why Oreo again? Why you keep showing Oreo good. again? Oreo is great. I'm hungry. You know I skipped dinner to do this, right? So I'm hungry right now. So skip Oreo. <laughs> well, we're almost done with our video. We got another uh, five minutes to talk about this. Uh, we're going to recap real quick right here. So this one, $37.99. You don't need any coupon. Add to your cart. Buy it. Ship from Amazon. It's in stock right now. Grab it. It's a great charger. It's got USB-C, uh, 65 watt of total output. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It charges USB-A devices too. Just remember the, the three USB-A devices share a 20 watt pool. Oh, water. Samsung's far charging. Yes. Finally. Yes, they thought about you. Except I don't think you have a Samsung phone. You have an Android, right? That's not Samsung. It's a Samsung Oh, it's phone. a Samsung? Samsung Note 8, oh, Note my friend. Nice. Nice. That thing is huge. Oh, wait. I can't show you my wife. Uh, just You're not worthy <laughs> enough. What? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I s it's your wife posts her own pictures on her Facebook. You know that, right? I know. That. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so here's compatible with the S10, uh, Note 8. <laughs> Yours is the last supported Samsung device here. You almost fell off the list. Time to upgrade, my friend. So the Note 10 won't work then, I guess. It does. They just didn't put it here. No, I'm actually debating upgrading to the newest Sony phone. Yes. Sony phone is so no, nice. No, gotta be different. Yeah. So anyway, uh, this has been around for a couple months now. People are loving it. The reviews are great. You can install it underneath the desk. You can install, you can charge multiple things. Oh yeah, I forgot. I usually have my Apple Watch with me. So this is great for charging my Apple Watch, my um, obviously my iPhone, maybe like a, a camera on the USB-A and the USB-C will be for my iPad or my laptop. Mm -hmm. It's great for traveling. Mm -hmm. It does everything. Love it. Works great. Perfect for laptop bag. Wait, wait, wait. Someone's unreliable. Unreliable? First, I really like the size and the charging power of this product. Unfortunately, the power cord will not stay plugged into the unit. The slightest movement will cause it to loosen or fall out. Twice, I have awakened to my iPad battery Early dead, early dead, busy dead because of the what? power cable. I plan to take it on a trip this weekend, but I cannot rely on it. Unfortunately, my husband threw out the box, so I can't return it. Hmm. <laughs> I will only use it at home now when I don't have to rely on rely on it working. I'm very disappointed. Peppa, are um. you disappointed? Oh, I messed up that snort. I can't store it anymore. <laughs> I am very disappointed. Wow. You know, I have something to say about that. I mean, it could be Did... their outlet were not, you know, it, it has, you know, you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. And in fact, um, I'll, I'll pull up one of my anchor charger right now. I think I know exactly what she's talking about. Okay, so this is an anchor charger that I'm actually using right now charging my phone as we speak and another USB device right here. So the, the thing that could be loose is also, you know, when you plug in this cable, this part here, if you don't plug it all the way in, it can easily come out too. So you got to make sure you plug it in all the way and it actually goes in quite a bit of depth. You can, you can see this yeah, little. Yeah, you indicator. should hear a click or something. You don't hear a click, but it goes I mean, in quite a you bit. Feel, you yeah. kind of feel that, you know, you can right. you know, push it in right. a little bit you more. Can see, okay, you can see how much it goes in. So right here, it's not in. See, it goes in quite a bit. It does have a click. Mm -hmm. You're right, right. It did click at the end. So this could be loose. Also, the other end that plugs into the wall, that can also be loose too because you know how you have the prongs? It's mm -hmm. possible. Uh, I hope I don't shut down. Uh, I don't want to unplug it. But you know the prongs that plug into that. the wall? It's possible that, you know, that they are not making contact with the, the wall outlet because it's maybe an old prong or whatnot. But mm -hmm. th those are probably my reasons. But definitely this person, I would recommend this person contact Anchor and directly and tell them about the problem because they have really good customer service. They'll help you even though your husband threw out the box. You can still 
talk to them and they'll replace the product for you. They'll take care mm -hmm. of you. They're, they're, they're really good. Don't be disappointed. Content anchor. Not happy? They'll help you out. Be happy. Yes, be happy. All right, cool, cool, cool. So that, that is the um, charger. So we're gonna talk about the other two deals that we had just to make sure that you guys got the coupon code for it. So this tactical flashlight, we got a great coupon code for that for you guys. That works on this model here on the far right. It might work in the middle model, I'm not sure, but these two models, normally $29.99 because they are the 1150 lumens, more powerful battery as well as more powerful output. These are the better flashlights and normally $29, actually normally $35.99 and Amazon prices at $29.99, but enter a coupon code 259YTWBW. It's right on the screen. That will take it down to $22.49. So fantastic deal on this flashlight. And the thing about this flashlight is that it's very built solidly. It has aluminum grade, aircraft aluminum grade, uh, aircraft grade aluminum. And it's got really good quality glass here, polished lens, as well as the battery is rechargeable. And it's really cool because you can use a micro USB to charge the battery. I don't know if you can see it, but right there is a USB charging port for the Oh, battery. that's a big plus for yeah. me right that's there. That's pretty Just cool. Just right there. So it's a plus and a, a con too, in my opinion. I just want to be fully transparent is that the con is you do have to take the battery out of the flashlight to charge it. But the pro is that because the battery uh, is, because of that, the flashlight doesn't have any like USB ports to charge it. So that allows the flashlight to be fully sealed so it can be waterproof IPX7, so up to one meter down in the water. Uh, 1.5 for impact resistance too. So really robust light. And with the coupon code, you can get it for $22.49. All right, and the last product we're gonna touch on is the one that we talked about earlier, which is this TV stand. And this TV stand, we got a coupon code for you as well. So if you enter this code right here, uh, you can get this TV mount. Normally price is $35.99. And that's already a good deal. But with this coupon code on the screen, the U8F87MEK takes it down to $21.59 for you. So um, quite a bit of saving for a really, really versatile wall mount TV, TV wall mount that is fully actuating. You got tilt, swivel, extension, and the whole works. You can watch this video. Um, it demonstrates all the functionality of this thing. And it's quite easy to install. And all that for $21.59. Oh my gosh, I'm not, I realize I have not been showing your face, Jeremy. Where did you go? Jeremy, are you still here with me? Did you cut off? Jeremy? Where did Jeremy go? I think Jeremy left me. Hang on. Let me see if I can pull Jeremy back in. One moment. Jeremy, where did you go? Jeremy says, don't wait for me. Ah, he has to, um, his computer crashed. Ah, all right. So. I will change to this full screen mode since Jeremy is not here. And we'll go full screen. There we go. So we can see the product. We, actually, let me make myself smaller so you can see the, the way this thing gets installed. Really easy. Love the installation. Very, very, um, I mean, it, it's not hard to install, but they have instructions and they have a template to help you install it. And this video is nice because it demonstrates really quickly on how you can install it. Anyway, use the coupon code on your screen right now to save quite a bit of money. That brings it down to $21.59 and it's a great, hey Aaron K, thanks for the, the hands up. Love it, appreciate it. Yeah, lots of good deals on this video. This, this coupon code gives you a discount, uh, quite a bit of discount for this mount here. And then one more coupon code that we have in this video is this Wow Tactical Light here. This coupon code takes the flashlight down to only $22.49 and you can, use, you can use it on this model and I believe it also works on this model and the, these two are the brighter and longer battery life model too. So check that out. Those are the stuff that we talked about today. Jeremy had to leave early because his computer crashed but that takes me to the end of this video so thank you. Oop, I'm gonna clear out the coupon code. So the coupon codes, I'm not sure when they expire but use them as soon as you can so that you can take advantage of the discount. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I, if you have any questions, let me know via the, the comments down below. I'll stick around for a little bit. Also, you can check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash utechmia. 
as well as youtube.com slash pizzastabbers if you're into the photography world of things. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys stay healthy, hope you stay safe, take care, and we'll catch you next time. All right, signing out. Take care. Bye. Signing out. And we are signing out on there as well. And signing out on all these other platforms. All right.